Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at another brand new 2015 Transformers Robots in Disguise figure and it's Warrior Class Strong Arm. So this is the first Fembot that we get out of the series. She's basically from the previews, looks like the new version of RC, but she's very green. She looks up to Bumblebee. She wants Bumblebee to train her to become a warrior, uh, which is an interesting concept. I like the idea. I like the character, but my issue is if you look at the figure and compare her to the artwork from the show, she's way too bulky. She doesn't have the Fembot look to me, um, although her face does match. The other issue I have is her name, Strong Arm. That is not feminine at all. I do not like that name for a female character. That is absolutely a guy's name. I would have preferred if they just went Chromia on this character. That's who they should have called her. Um, it just, just a very masculine name on a fembot. So that's kind of the hit and miss for me. Looking at the package, just like all the others, we have the Transformers logo on the side, very similar to Age of Extinction. We have the Robots in Disguise logo in the top corner. We have a picture of her in her vehicle mode, her name. There she is in bot mode. There's her artwork from the show in the top corner. Uh, we get the artwork on the side. So there's a close-up of her artwork, what she looks like on the show. Uh, very cool, very fun. Uh, bottom of the package, just like all the others. Here's everybody else you can buy in this wave. Here is the back of the package. Again, we have no bio on the character, so, I mean, we're walking into the show blind, uh, basically. And, uh, yeah, she transforms in eight steps. She turns into a police truck. There are her instructions. It does not come with instructions in the package, uh, which is kind of interesting. And the big gimmick is you can scan the little logo and uh, upload the character into an online game. So each one of these little circles um, is a different barcode. So uh, that's a very interesting gimmick that they put into it. Now the characters do not have that little barcode logo around the Autobot symbol on the show. And if you notice, her little sticker is completely in a different place than what we see on the show itself. I'm wondering if the Takara versions are going to be different. Uh, but yeah, there she is, strong arm. Um, why they're out so early? I don't know. Was this like three months early? Is it a preview set? Did they just want to boost sales? Was it an accident? I don't know. I don't care. Here it is. Let's get her out of package and see what the robot looks like. All right, here we have strong arm, or as I like to call her, Chromia, out of package, and she's a little mistransformed when you first uh, get her out of the package. Her backpack back here is totally folded down. Um, you have to fold this up. Uh, and it does give her a little bit more of a feminine look, but not much. Um, she's still kind of bulky uh, to be a Finbot, which I guess, I mean, not everybody's the same size, so I guess all Finbots don't have to be small, delicate, and petite. Um, so sure, we'll go with that, I guess. Um, overall design is okay. I like the blue and the white. Um, definitely digging that color pattern. I've got kind of an issue with her hands here. They're like kind of inside uh, the bits and pieces there. It's unfortunate that uh, that had to happen. Her legs look good. I like the chest. I just wish that was a little bit more pronounced, uh, her being a Fembot. Um, kind of a close-up of her sculpt. Um, she looks pretty good. She has some light piping, but I don't know how well it's going to go. Um, and her lips look a little too puffy, a little too collagen-y uh, for my taste. But overall, I mean, not a bad looking figure. Um, the blue has kind of a nice sparkle to it, which is nice. I do appreciate that. She does have this little uh, weapon. 
uh, with a painted on laser blast. It's not a missile or anything, so that's kind of strange. That's a little different. Again, this series really feels like it's geared more towards uh, children than it is the lifelong collectors. Um, overall, it's not a bad bot. It stands very, very well as far as articulation goes. She does have a ball joint on her head. She can move her shoulders, her elbows. Again, just like every other figure in the series, the wrists do not move. She has a swivel at her waist, so she can turn that way. She's got joints at her hips and her knees, and her feet uh, are also on a ball, well, not really a ball joint, but a swivel piece right there. But she's very stable, looks really nice. Um, I just don't care for the name. Call her Chromia. That's what they really should have done. As far as the previews on the show, I am interested in the character. I think she's going to be a fun character to watch. So let's get Strong Arm, aka Chromia, into her vehicle mode and see what we think about that. All right, so here we have Strong Arm in her police vehicle mode. And I mean, it's okay. It's pretty big. It's pretty bulky. Not really what you're expecting out of a Fembot. Um, I do like the color pattern. It does look nice. It's a decent looking truck mode. Again, just a little too cartoony, um, mainly in the lights up here. I wish they would have made those uh, translucent plastic. I think that would have helped this vehicle a lot. Um, now, again, no paint apps on the wheels. I do like the black windows. Uh, those look really, really nice. The blue has uh, got this kind of a, a sparkle to it, and it's probably not picking up very well in the... Um, camera but it is what it is i like the detail on the uh, wheel wells looks really nice very cool stuff uh, she i've noticed is the first one to have a painted autobot logo anywhere in vehicle mode uh, which is really really cool we get the headlights the grill looks nice she is pretty much a shell former um a hundred percent uh, when you transform her. Her weapon does store down there. There is also a port on the top where you can store the weapon up here as well and have her firing it um, as some kind of, I don't know, <laughs> riot vehicle. Uh, she also has, it uh, looks like a rack uh, to hold something back here. Um, that's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what that is about. Um, it'd been nice if they would have painted that black as well, but yeah, it is what it is. So how does she compare up to Bumblebee? So there is Bumblebee and Strong Arm together. She is significantly larger than Bumblebee, which is kind of interesting. Again, not something you see in a Fembot, and I do like that. That is different. And then um, let's throw in Grimlock in here. So here we have the three Autobots that were released in the uh, Deluxe or the new Warrior class uh, mode for the new line. Very interesting to see all three of them together. I'm really interested to see how the show runs out, um, how it's going to stack up to other shows. I'm just, like I said, I'm hoping the writing is really, really good to pull away from that really cartoony look that I think a lot of collectors are going to be turned off by. But it is what it is. It's something different. If you don't make something different, people are going to stop buying. So there she is, Strong Arm from the new 2015 Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class line. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely subscribe to my channel, share my videos. I do appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future.